Did you know that you could play your PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 games on your Steam Deck? Yeah, you can, via remote play. And we're going to show you how to get that set up on your Steam Deck with this video. So, let's go ahead and get into it. Before we dive into this tutorial video, if you enjoy the content that I put out from tutorials, reviews, live streams, impressions, podcasts, and so much more, make sure you like the video, sub to the channel if you haven't already, and ding the notification bell, that way you stay up to date on all the content I put out. And uh, that being said, yeah, we're going to go ahead and show you how to go ahead and get this all set up. Now, the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to have your PlayStation up. And so we're going to switch over to another screen to be able to see that. All right, so we're at the PlayStation home screen. I'm going to go ahead and log in. And then the first thing I'm going to want to do as soon as it loads up is I'm going to want to go up over here to my settings. And then I'm going to go over to system. Then I'm going to go down to remote play. And then I'm going to click enable remote play. And then I'm going to go to link device. Now I'm going to need to make sure I keep this number for when I go ahead and get the whole thing set up. So now that we've got this done, we're gonna head on over to the Steam Deck. Okay, so we're on the Steam Deck in game mode, and what we're gonna need to do is go over to Steam Menu, go down to Power, and then we're going to need to switch to Desktop. Okay, so now that we're on the Desktop, what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to go to Discover, and then we're gonna need to type in Shiaki. Now I've already got it installed, but this is what you're gonna be looking for. So we're gonna click on it. I'm gonna go ahead and launch it. And there's a lot of information, really good information if you want to look further into this. And I'll leave a link down below, but you're gonna go ahead and launch it. So after you launch Shiaki, what it's going to do is it's going to find the PlayStation 5s that are on your network. And currently I've got my two, my one is in the living room and one that's here at my setup here. And basically, whichever one I want to connect to, I'm going to put that information in. So when we click on it, you're going to see this right here. Now with this, I'm going to expand it a little bit so it's a little bit bigger. So you're going to see host, broadcast, and then you're going to see, well, console, because I don't have a PlayStation 4 anymore. I only have PlayStation 5s. So PlayStation 5, which is going to be auto-selected because that's what it's on. And then um, you're going to see PSN online ID, PSN account ID, B64, which is what really important you're going to need this information i'm going to show you how to get that very soon and then the pin which is that number that you got from your playstation 5 or 4 just you know whatever you're using for remote play so playstation 4 playstation 5 so you're going to open up a tab and i have it in the description below a link to this tab that we're going to go to and it's going to take you over to github so as soon as you get here to the github it's going to be easy way to get ps4 account ID online and uh, you're just going to go here. You're going to right click on the online. You're going to open a new tab and it's going to give you this right here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to copy everything here under the open the following URL in your browser and login. Like I'm just literally telling you what to do. So you're going to copy that. You're going to open a new tab. And then you're going to paste and go. And that's going to bring you over here to the PlayStation login. And you're just going to go ahead and input your information. Now, once you've successfully done everything you need to do here, so it's going to say redirect. And the only thing you're going to need to do is copy this URL. You're going to go back over to Trinket or the Trinket tab. And the second line where it says after logging in, when the page shows redirect, copy and paste. So you can just do control V and you can copy it in. Then you're going to press enter. Now, if it hangs, because occasionally it'll do that, uh, what you're going to want to do is just refresh the page and then do the same thing again. And it should go through. Now, I'm going to keep everything private, so you're going to see a lot of things blocked out. But what you're going to need to do here is you're going to see the section that says this is your account ID, and you're going to copy that entire thing. And then what you're going to do is go back over to Shiaki and you're going to paste that right here in PlayStation account ID. 
Now, the next thing you're going to need is the PlayStation 5 pin or the PlayStation 4 pin for remote play. And then you're going to paste it right in here. And now I'm going to go ahead and click register. And then it's going to say console is now registered. So you can go ahead and click OK. And then what we can do from here, you can go click the cog if you want to modify any of your controls. Uh, if you want to modify the resolution, you can move the resolution anywhere from down to as low as 360p all the way up to 1080p, uh, which 1080p is only for PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 Pro. But given that the screen resolution on the Steam Deck is 720p, I just say keep it at 720p, 60 frames per second. Uh, don't touch the codec. I'm going to leave all this the same. Um, and if you got more than one PlayStation 5 if you want, you can link you know, you can register another console. I probably will do that later on. Um, but everything is going to be mapped out for your controls. And the one thing you're going to want to eventually map is going to be your PlayStation home button. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that very shortly. Um, we're going to map it to one of the touch pads. And so beyond that, we can go ahead and close this. And when we're ready, we can just double tap this. And boom. And here we go. So it's working perfectly. I've got my PlayStation 5 connected via Ethernet, and I've got one gig internet, so I don't have to worry about latency on my PlayStation 5. And now I've got this connected via 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. So we're all set and ready to go. And then uh, what we're going to do is another step we're going to go ahead and close this out and then we're going to pull up steam steam library and what we're going to do we're going to add game add a non-steam game i'm going to click on shiaki add selected programs and it's going to pop up yeah i've got a lot of games here it's going to pop up in our settings so it's right here as you can see and then i'm going to just go ahead and favorite it because you know, I like having my remote play stuff here. Now, which is not going to have any artwork. What you're going to want to do is probably add some custom artwork to it. So it, you know, works out for you. And so what we're going to do, we're, we're pretty much done. We can go ahead and close this and we can go back to game mode. And now we're back in game mode. So what we can do is I can go ahead and press the steam button. I can go to my library and then I can go over to my favorites. And Shiaki is right here. I'm going to add custom art down the road. So we're going to want to edit the layout of the controller so we can add the PlayStation Home button. So we're going to click here and we're going to make sure we're on the Steam Deck and we're going to go to Edit Layout. And then what we're going to do is under Trackpads, we're going to have the right click act as. escape now this allows us to utilize the playstation home buttons so now we can go back and we can go ahead and launch shiaki and now we just pick the playstation so we just go ahead and click on it and there we go we are now on the playstation 5 via remote play through the steam deck it's pretty neat you're all set and ready to go. And that's it. You're done. You're all set and ready to use your PlayStation 5 via remote play on your Steam Deck. And that's literally all you need to do. And that's it. And that's the video on how to set up remote play on your Steam Deck so you can play your PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 games. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful for you and you can easily get it set up. But uh, yeah, that's that's it. That's all you need to do from here. Like, do you think there needs to be a simpler method to get this going? Do you think PlayStation themselves, since they're effectively supporting the Steam deck in many ways with optimizing their games that are coming over from PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 to the Steam Deck, do you think that they should just make a native app for the Steam Deck to have remote play? Same question that I have for like Xbox, should they just make a native app to be able to play your Xbox games via remote play. So whatever your thoughts are, let's go ahead and get the conversation going in the comment section down below. 
And if you want to take the conversation further, we do have Discord. You can hop into Discord. We have a specific section for Steam Deck as well as like gaming and all other kinds of things. So go ahead and hop in. Links in the description below. And if you really enjoyed this video, make sure you like it. Sub to the channel if you haven't already and ding the notification bell. That way you can stay up to date on all the latest and greatest content that comes from this channel. Uh, if you want to support the content that we do, if you really love the tutorials, reviews, streams, impressions, podcasts, and so much more, then uh, consider becoming a channel member today get your early and exclusive access to content behind the scenes as well as input on upcoming content if there's something you want me to cover hey if you're a channel member or if you're a patreon supporter we got patreon as well that allows you to give input on what we're gonna see next on this channel and if you want to pick up some merch hey we got merch on teespring and Public. if you want this shirt here i got many others they're probably cooler than this one with all that being said i hope you guys have a blessed and aloha rest of your day and uh yeah i'm gonna sign out and get back to gaming Stay safe. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. All for your time. If you found this episode to be incredibly enjoyable, informative, or if there's anything you gain from it or any insight or, you know, anything that's good that you really, really enjoy, make sure whatever platform you're listening to it on, or if you're watching it, leave a comment if that's available on the platform, like it, share it around with someone you think would enjoy it, and give us some feedback because your feedback is exactly what we need to keep this show going. And if you're wondering what are some ways that you could support the show we got various ways we've got patreon we have channel memberships over on youtube as well as subscribe star coffee and so much more links for everything will be in the description check that out and with all that being said i hope you have an aloha rest of your day let them know that i'm next level i'm a whole new kind of guy Gene. yeah Is at the top spot in case you forgot We the ones that got the black hot bullet got the shot Look